the SWAC has just made another big move, and should I say HBCUs in a hole that we have lost Coach Prime Deion Sanders. He's moved on to Colorado, of course, but now his self-proclaimed little brother, Hall of Famer, ex-Raven, ex-Miami Hurricane, uh, a top-tier safety to ever play the game, probably top two or top three uh, in most uh, ratings. This guy, Ed Reed, the legend, is coming to coach at Bethune Cookman. It says Bethune Cookman has hired Ed Reed as his next head coach. And what better guy to get in the state of Florida than Ed Reed? Of course, Bethune Cookman located in Daytona Beach, Florida. So I think it'll be safe to say anywhere in Florida for that fact, especially South Florida, Central to South Florida, is Ed Reed's stumping ground. The guy's a legend. He's able to, he should be able to pull a bunch of good recruits to go there, three, four, and maybe even five stars to stay in state and play at an HBCU like Bethune Cookman. Will this have the type of effect that Coach Prime had on JSU? Will he be able to turn around this Bethune Cookman program that has been in the gutter? and is a program that has been hit hard by those hurricanes that came through last year. But if there's anyone that can turn around a program in the state of Florida, if it's not prime, then it's gonna be his little brother. And that's Ed Reed or a guy like Ray Lewis. The, those are the top three guys. And now you got Ed Reed going and he, who's wanted to coach. He's been on the Miami staff for the last couple He's of years. He's been that guy to be a big brother, a mentor to young athletes coming up, especially in the state of Florida. This guy here is going to be a perfect fit, I think, to rejuvenate, to bring back to life a program like Bethune-Cookman College or Bethune-Cookman University. Now, what does this mean for other HBCUs? What does this mean for the SWAC? Will we see Ed Reed flipping some guys to stay in state and not go to the Power Five? Let me know what you think. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. We're about to say, because in the video.